Doctors, today I'll discuss about the water jug problem in artificial intelligence. So it is a very easy problem. You can easily score this topic and can easily understand the concept. So let's get started. What is the water jug problem? Now, uh, in water jug problem, there are two jugs like this and one jug is of 4 liters capacity and the another one is of 3 liter capacity. Now you can fill water onto these jugs with the help of this pump and keep in mind that there are no markings on these jugs. So to solve this problem we have to consider certain assumptions. So there are four assumptions that we consider while solving the water jug problem. So let us see them. I have marked here as the black circles. So the first assumption is that there is a pump and from that pump you can fill the water onto this jugs. Next assumption is that you can transfer water from this jug to this jug or vice versa. The third assumption is that you can pour water from any of these jugs onto the ground and the last assumption is that there are no marking mechanism or there is no device to measure the liters how much water is contained in each of these jugs and so our problem statement is that to fill the 4 liter water with exactly of 2 liter capacity so this is the overall idea about the water jug problem now let us see how to solve this problem by using the AI technique so there are certain steps to solve by using the AI steps so first is that you have to describe the state now in this there are two states let us consider x and y both are integers so let us define for 4 liter as x that is it can take values from 0 1 2 3 up till 4 and y for 3 liter jug and it can take values from 0 1 2 and 3 next step is to describe the initial and the goal state so here initial state would be 0 0 and the goal state would be 2 comma n 2 means 2 liter water onto this 4 liter jug x and y so x denotes the 4 liter so in 4 liter you have to fill exactly 2 liter and in 3 liter it can be anything so our final goal should be at the x place you have to get 2 and at the y place you can get any value that's why it is denoted as n so this is the goal state next step is to list all the actions which are going to be performed in this uh, mechanism of filling and pouring and spinning out the water so there are some operators these operators are called as production rules in water jug problem so let us see each of these production rules there are nine production rules for solving water jug problem so let us see each one of them first you have to fill the three liter jug so in terms of this x and y integers let me denote them so first we will fill this 3 liter jug. This 3 liter jug is filled with the help of first you write it like this x comma y it is a state x and y both denote a state so it is called as a state space I will discuss what is state space in detail. So first we will write x comma y you have to put an arrow like this and you have to fill the water. So now you have to fill the 3 liter jug. Now when you will fill the 3 liter jug? When uh, its capacity is less than 3. Means if it is, there is no water at all or if it is 1 liter, 2 liter, then we will fill the 3 liter jug. So we will modify this as x comma 3. If there is condition that y is less than 3. So this is the condition to fill the 3 liter jug. Next similarly for 4 liter jug, 4 liter uh, is considered in x integer. So we will write x comma y and here it will be 4 comma and this will be y. Here if x is less than 4 means if x is 
वन लीटर टू लीटर और देर इज नो वॉटर एट ऑल देन वील कंसिडर दिस केस नेक्स्ट वी हैव टू एम टी दी थ्री लीटर जग सो फॉर एम टी थ्री लीटर जग दैट इज दी वाई सो यू विल राइट इट एज एक्स कॉम वाई एंड एक्स कॉम जीरो If y is greater than zero, this is the condition to fill it. Next, empty the four liter jug. That is x comma y. You will write it as zero comma y. If it is x greater than zero. Next, you have to move all the water from three liter to four liter jug. means you have to basically add these quantities so for that we'll write x comma y we have to move from 3 liter to 4 liter that is your uh, y part will be empty so it is basically x plus y means you are moving this y part to x part now this will be the added quantity zero if there is a condition that condition is y should be greater than zero and x plus y is less than or equal to zero sorry less than or equal to 4 next similarly you have to move all the water from 4 liter to 3 liter jug so for that x comma y you will make this as zero means x part will be going here so it will be x plus y if x is greater than 0 and x plus y is less than or equal to 3 next is you have to transfer all of the water from 4 liter to 3 liter until the 4 liter is full now this case you can uh, understand in more diagrammatical manner that if uh, transferring all water from 4 liter to 3 liter until the 4 liter is full means from 4 liter if uh, there is much more capacity in 4 liter and if you have to make it up to 4 liter or a uh, level of 4 liter then you will transfer this from 4 liter to 3 liter as there is one assumption said uh, i have denoted with this black arrow so we can apply those assumption here so that is the condition here transferring from 4 liter to 3 liter until the 4 liter is full so for that we'll write the state space as x comma y first we'll keep the 4 liter as it is so x part is kept as it is and we'll transfer this y part will be minus from the means some quantity of x part is transfer to the y part means it will be 4 minus x there is a condition if y greater than 0 and x plus y is less than or equal to 4 similarly transferring from 4 liter to 3 liter until 3 liter is full means 3 liter if it is less capacity will move from 4 liter to 3 liter until both of them satisfy the conditions so for that we'll write x comma y as the state space and here it will be x x minus 3 minus y comma 3 if x is greater than 0 and x plus y is less than or equal to 3 so this is the eighth production rule and the final production rule is transferring from 2 liter to 3 liter and finally to 4 liter means whatever water you have uh, in this 3 liter you will first 
subtract or you will reduce the quantity uh, of a 2 liter and you will transfer it to 4 liter and that is the final goal state we achieve in this water jet problem so for that we will have 0 comma 2 that is x comma y state space and you will move to that is 2 comma 0 so this is the final goal state now in this there are 9 production rules out of uh, this 9 production rules uh, the production rule from 1 to 8 are all the generalized and the ninth one is the goal specific means whenever the goal changes you have to change this final production rule and now we will formulate the solution uh, since uh, these steps are of 4 steps so only 3 steps we have reached till now and the final step is to formulate the solution now for water jet problem there are many uh, solutions is possible as I have said in my crypt arithmetic uh, this is a trial and error there is uh, no such particular and fixed solution to this problem so let us see one solution of filling the water jet problem So our uh, final step would be the solution set that is define the solution set. So for that we have one solution set now this two represents the x and y that is 4 liter jug and 3 liter jug. So forwarding to this that is 0 comma 3 we apply a rule one year from this next is 3 comma 0 we apply rule number 3 we do 3 comma 3 that is rule number 1 again next is 4 comma 2 that is rule number 7 next is 0 comma 2 that is this state that is rule number 4 and finally we reach the goal state that is 2 comma 0 that is rule number 9 so this is the initial state and this is the goal state so there are many possible uh, solutions for uh, water jet problem and now let us see what is a state space so in this kind of uh, problems in water jet problem there are uh, many kind of state spaces that are possible so what is state space state space is the space of all possible states that are uh, inside the water jet problem so in water jet there are 20 states which are possible so it can be like 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 Likewise, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 0, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 4, 0, 4, 1, 4, 2, and 4, 3. So, this makes a total of 20 possible states. And if uh, there is a finite number of states, then that problem is called as a state space problem. And now since many states are available, uh, so we will consider it in a tree format and this tree can be uh, viewed and it can be traversed only by a searching mechanism. So this is the overall water check problem in detail. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.